Hi everyone, this is Ryan Adams working with our customer success engineering team here at Microsoft. Today we're going to take a quick look at how we can query data that's sitting out in our data lake using Synapse Serverless. And the first thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and create a new script. What I can do is if I click this icon here, this will bring us to the develop hub. And then we'll be able to, once you hover over, I'll zoom out here, you hover over SQL scripts. This will give an ellipse with a drop down box. Um, and then from here, I will be able to select new SQL script. I've already done that here. I already have my script written. Once you open the script, the other thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have connected to built in. This is our serverless engine that it will execute in. That way, once we click run, it will run in that context and against the serverless engine. Let's take a quick look at the code here. I am selecting a handful of columns here. Very simple statement, just three. I have the data that's stored in these parquet files is temperature data that came out of two different temperature sensors. So I've got temp one and temp two, which is the data coming from each of the first two uh, temperature sensors. And then I've got the arrival time, which is when I actually receive the data from the sensor. And it's stored out in my data lake. And I'm using my uh, open row set call here. And then I'm using bulk. And this is the location where I've stored it at. This is the name of my data lake. You'll input that here. IoT happens to be what I'm using for a container. And then if you have any folders below your container, I have a couple. I have a bronze and a temperature raw folder. And then the files, finally, at the end that we're looking for, I'm looking for every parquet file that's in there. I am also defining the format here as well and saying, yes, these are parquet format. That way the engine knows what to expect. And the last thing is, is since I do have an arrival time and I want to trend the temperature over time, I'm going to order this by the arrival time and descending format. And just so you can see, I'll open up Azure Storage Explorer here as well. And what you'll notice here with Storage Explorer is I am inside of my container, my IoT container. Here's my bronze folder. We're going to dig into that. Open up bronze. There's my temperature raw folder. We'll open that. And then here's where you'll see all of my parquet files out here. So by saying start up parquet, I'm going to read all of these in so that I can view all of the data across everything that has been stored out here. And when I do that query, I come back and I get my temperature data, right? So here's everything I'm getting from the first sensor, everything I'm getting from the second sensor. You tell the temperatures are pretty far apart. These are in Fahrenheit. So this one's obviously running much hotter than this one over here. And then I've got my arrival time here as well, so I can trend that over time. So that's really nice to be able to pull and see that and very easily, quickly be able to see my data. There's also this really cool chart button here. If I click chart, and I'll change my category to put this over time, what this allows me to do right here is look at my results and inspect this visually. So right here, right in the results window without going out anywhere else, I don't have to pull it into any other type of visualization tool. I can get a really quick, easy idea of what my temperature data looks like. And I can definitely see that I'm like right on the line here, but I'm a little further above the line over here. So this distance, I can see that my temperature has clearly increased over this time frame. You can hover over every one of the dots as well. So you can see exactly what the data was at that particular time. At this time, it was 102.53. And down here at the end, I'm looking at uh, 106.81. So we can see that over time and visually see our data right here inside of Synapse. So hopefully you found this helpful and useful and this will allow you to go out and easily query your data lake using open row set calls.